Hello everyone, I hope you're well. Today's clip features our local Sistema instructor, Lauren Clements. In this video, Lauren takes us through a series of drills to help students learn how to produce power and produce tension in specific parts of their body whilst keeping the rest of themselves relaxed and then to be able to transfer that around to different aspects of their structure. Lauren takes us through some simple drills to help students develop those skills and then he takes us through to a, a control and restraint part of practice where we can put those skills into action. As always, if you're enjoying what we're doing and want to support the channel, smash the stuff below. It doesn't cost you anything and it really helps us out. Thank you for watching. Hello, I'm Lauren if you haven't met me. I've um, been out here a few times with Duncan. Um, it's good to be back. Um, gonna share a few things of what we're doing um, currently kind of in our system of classes. Um, we're gonna base it on um, just a few simple principles. I'll lay those out for you. We're gonna do a little bit of body work, but pretty soon we're gonna get our hands on each other and start to look to, it doesn't ask for a little bit of um, control and restraint work. Um, some of this um, comes from my work when I was a police officer. Um, a few years ago, um, simple ideas um, that work in a very practical sense under stress. So we're looking at gross motor um, ideas, okay? Nothing too fiddly here, okay? Because a lot of that stuff goes out the window when your heart's pumping, maybe you're whacked in the head a couple times, um, your emotions are up. Uh, we're looking at pretty big ideas here okay? in terms of what our bodies are going to get to. Um, we're going to take it nice and easy, just going to set some ground rules here. Um, this is drilling today, okay? Um, if Duncan feels that um, what I'm getting up to is going to add into his curriculum and what he's teaching um, the crew that comes down with him, um, he can take that from drilling into a more live environment, okay? We're going to be very cooperative today because we're going to be dealing with shoulder joints and necks a little bit, okay? And we want everybody walking out of here in the same fashion that they walked in here, not hobbling out and holding onto the joints and things like that. Okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna start you out with um, uh, kind of, we'll show you where we're gonna head to, and then what we're looking at is, and this is for Duncan's sake a little bit, he's a bit interested in what the progressions are with Sistema. I've shown you a lot of body work over the, over the years and whatnot, but we need to know what's the bridge between the body work and kind of the hands-on practical stuff, okay? Um, can you come up? So where we're going to head to is just a nice simple thing, and you've probably done this in your own respective arts, is that we're going to seek an underhook coming under his shoulder, latching on here, and then we're looking to get a bit of control up through his neck and his shoulders, okay? Um, there's a couple different ways we can do that. We can go underneath, yeah, we can also wrap over and get a bit of control here, okay? It works to the same ends, all right? Um, again. We're gonna take care of each other's shoulders. Some of us can get pretty heavy duty, um, but we're gonna work it through nice and slowly. Thank you. So, to get that going, what we're gonna do, um, I want you to start to move. Um, I'll do a little bit of movement just so you get a bit of an idea of what, what I'm looking for in your movements. And that is that you're, you're down on the ground, you're turning yourself, putting yourself down in front of your body, coming up to your knees, coming up to standing. You're crawling a little bit, so you're working a little bit of strength. It should be nice and a light work. Look, my voice hasn't changed very much as I am doing this. It's not like I'm getting more and more tired and I can't talk anymore. It's nice and open. If you want to do a bit of rolling, feel free to. What I'm going to do over time is I'm going to add in some restrictions, okay? And because what we're looking at is putting tension in one side of our body so we can hold them, okay? Other side nice and loose. I'm gonna ask you, over time, as you're moving, to start to load some tension into one of your arms. We'll release it and load tension to the other arm. Okay, nice free move. Um, it's up to you if you're on your palms or your knuckles here, okay? And now we're loading tension into our body. Trying to stay nice and flat here, we take one arm off the ground. So I've loaded tension through this side. A little bit of tension in my legs. Other side is nice and relaxed. When you need to, Switch the tension to the other side. Now the ideal with this is that you're like a tabletop and you're staying flat. You're not doing this cheeky number, which makes this very easy. Okay? Trying to stay nice and flat here. Putting tension down through your body as you need it. Trying to loosen up one of your arms here. Okay? Have a little go back and forth between the two sides. We're putting a, a functional tension into our body because we want to hold this position of posture or form. 
Okay, but we have to be able to control this. It shouldn't just be that we're jamming on so much tension through our body. It starts to be hard, become hard to unlock. You can do the same thing with your, um, your legs. Lift the leg up. See where you can get it moving to. Yeah, good. And you can kind of cycle through your limbs a little bit. Maybe you go for an arm. Maybe you go for an arm and a leg. Can you hold a structure here? Can you make a form in your body that's going to hold your weight? Is manageable for you to control? You start to soften up parts of your body. Don't you? He's going to make that same tension here. He's going to pull it into himself. My job is to come up and help him discover that he can be resistant here. I am not grabbing hold of this thing and going quack. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm applying a bit of pressure in different directions. I can grab him at the wrist. I can grab onto his forearm, his elbow. I can try and get underneath his shoulder. While this is happening, his job is to see if he can keep this and the rest of his body nice and relaxed. We shouldn't see the tension that we're creating here start to creep over and infest the rest of his body. Okay, so this tension that I'm putting into him comes on nice and slowly and it releases nice and slowly. You're not pulling, 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 just let it go. That's where injuries come from here. Yeah, good. It could be a pulling, it could also be a pushing. So I'm trying to push it down towards his waist. Okay, I could use one hand, I could start to use a bit of force against both sides. Yeah, good. Okay, we carry tension all the time. We wouldn't be standing here if there wasn't natural um, tension in our body. Um, the, the term in, in engineering terms is tensegrity, where you've got separate, separate units, which are for us our bones, being held together by tensile force, which is produced by our muscles, our fascia, ligaments, and our tendons. Okay? That's a natural force that has to be in us for us to be able to stand here. Okay? Otherwise, we'd all be flopping around on the ground doing nothing. Okay, what we're looking at managing is excess tension in the body. There's time for tension, okay, um, but it has to be managed properly. So we're going to look at managing a bit more tension. So what we're going to do now is that I make the tension in one side of my body. So Griffin's going to come and try and challenge that a little bit for me. We're not whipping each other around, but he puts a bit of he puts a bit, puts a bit of pull here. Now Jason's job is to come in close to me, and my job is to see if I can keep him away. And it's just a little game. I'm pushing into them, so I'm making sure that the tension I'm putting in this side hasn't, hasn't hindered my ability to get rid of Jason. I want to be nice and loose, sort of push into him, but the whole time, Griffin will tell you, nothing is given here. It's not that I lose control here, and all of a sudden, I'm being stretched out, okay? I'm taking control. He wants to bend my arm behind my back or something. I'm like, no. Yeah. So I'm working nice and loosely, it doesn't mean fast, and it's a, it's a game, okay? Once in a while, you will, under your own steam, put tension in this side. Yeah, so he's developing tension here, I'm coming, I'm just trying to keep him away. I can start to see if I can make them interrupt each other. So I'm starting to show, this what I said, that this tension I'm creating here is not affecting my ability to walk freely, okay? If he comes in and grabs here, we are now one thing. He wants to control me. I'm saying no. I'm taking control. Griffin's just trying to make that problematic. Coming towards me. My job is to see if I can keep him away. Okay? Have fun. I'll hold the clock here.